Hello Aries, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading, whoever you're thinking about. That is who this reading is intended for. And everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. So we're going to start with some overall messages and themes and then jump right into your tarot. We have I can't sleep. Treating you right. And I wish I could take back my words. Ooh. So I can't sleep, treating you right, and I wish I could take back my words. All right, Aries. We're going to be taking a look at how they're viewing you at this time, their feelings towards you, their intentions towards you, their next actions towards you, as well as a potential outcome. Some of you guys could have had a fight or a falling out with a person here. Or some of you guys may have even have separated from someone. But I do, I feel like somebody is laying awake at night thinking about the words that were said, things that were done, how things went down between the two of you. Someone's having a lot of regrets here with this. I wish I could take back my words. I feel like there, there's a lot, a lot of would have, could have, should have energy right now. Okay. So let's take a look and see. How is this person viewing Aries at this time? How do they view Aries at this time? You got the Knight of Pentacles. This is oh, this card always reminds me because she's got she's got stuff in her arm. She's got her plant. It always kind of reminds me of someone who's like packing up and leaving an office, you know. And I kind of feel like that is what this person is seeing here too. Like they could see you as somebody who's like packing up and moving out the door because of whatever whatever was done or whatever was said here. They could also feel like things are like not moving or at a standstill or have stopped between the two of you because of this energy. Now, their feelings for you, we have the Three of Wands. To me, I feel like they're trying to remain hopeful that it's just not too late. The Three of Wands can be a card of hope, positive expectations. It's a card of, you know, future thinking. I feel like somebody's just kind of, you know, trying to be positive, trying to be hopeful here that maybe it's not too late to kind of turn things around here. Three of Wands can also be a card of waiting. So somebody could be in that energy of waiting. Maybe they've been trying to reach out for, to you or they're trying to see if you're going to come back around or, or if things are going to um, be able to turn around here. Three of Wands can be a card of delegation and sending something out too. So I feel like somebody could, for some of you guys where you guys have like mutual friends, I almost kind of feel like somebody's trying to enlist their help to like see where you're at with things or have them talk to them for you or, you know, something like that here. Their intentions, we have the moon energy. So we're going to clarify some of these, but to me, this moon energy, just with this being their intentions, it's like there's a, there's a definite lack of clarity between the two of you right now. And there's a lack of clarity about where you stand and, you know, if there's potential, if there's still a chance for you guys to uh, get, uh, get past this or get through this. So to me, with it showing up in their intention, it's like, it's like wanting to gain that clarity. Their next action is the Queen of Swords. So, yeah, it's like they have some questions. They want to know, like, is there still a chance for us? Is there still hope for us? Can we get past this? You know, I feel like they're trying to uh, remain positive here, but somebody's definitely going to be reaching out wanting to talk. Okay, can we talk? You know, I would expect that kind of a text here. And I feel like with this treating you right card, like somebody's recognizing that they didn't treat you right, like the way that they behaved or the things that they said, the things that they did, you know, is not in alignment with who they're trying to be. You know, it's just not how they should have treated you. And I feel like they do have a lot of regrets. I would definitely expect to receive an apology from this person. Now we do have the high priestess here for the potential outcome. To me, it's just showing like it's, it's kind of unclear at this time. We have this Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like somebody's going to be giving you an offer, Aries. I'm just not sure how you're going to receive it, okay? Um, and I do, I feel like you're with that energy here. I feel like you're being asked to really trust your intuition when it comes to what's best from you. I do feel like somebody is genuinely having regrets. They are wishing that they wouldn't have reacted or said the things that they did here. 
and I do feel like somebody's they'd be trying to give you a gift here too I feel like somebody's missing you um and I and I I don't feel like they're wanting to let go of this yeah I feel like somebody's going to be putting a lot of effort in to try to turn things around here signs I'm seeing we have Cancer Taurus uh Virgo Capricorn Aries, Pisces, Libra. Those are the signs I'm seeing, but it could be any. So I do feel like you guys had some kind of falling out with somebody here, but somebody's having a lot of regrets about things that were said or done. They recognize that they didn't treat you the way that you deserve to be treated, and I feel like they want another chance to do that here. Okay, so someone's trying to remain positive, but I would expect to hear from them. I would expect that they're going to try to sit down and talk things out with you here. But that is what I have for you, Aries. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put this little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.